got to be careful about the shadow showing on the ground. Mm -hmm. And Isa's waiting down at Ivy. If they get one kill right, they could open it up. But Mantu goes down. He sneaks in. Val the Cirque is going to be really confused about it. But a nice flick must have been from Tarek. And Ethan gets dropped in return. Now it's a 2 1 1. And Stanislaw is here. Still over a minute. And they could think about this. They could try and time this really well. Jumping once. He turns with a headshot. Unbelievable. He was running at the same time. Just, you know, misjudges where Stan has gone. Could be a huge surprise. He's waiting for him, hoping that maybe he would actually run B instead. Getting a little bit closer. That was only a fake. So smart. Tries for it again. It is smart, isn't it? Nine seconds now. He makes for the jump, and Stanislaw, he nearly gets it, and he will eventually. We, I had, mean, we had like 96 rounds between these two teams the yes. other day, and OG barely squeaked the win in overtime on the last map. I this mean, is a bit more of what we should be expecting when EG are playing against OG. Ooh, sliding in. All right, that was spicy. Go. Yeah, immediate trade. They did get a pretty good grenade on Stanislaw, but they're trying to see if they can make this Ivy ramp work. See how long they're going to keep going. They don't have to go to B, but definitely can. They're going to keep running with the Glocks. Oh, Isa sneaking up behind, and that will almost certainly do it. Stanislaw very low on health and trying to be sneaky with the P250, and he misses the one chance that he had around us. Right, the there board. you go. There you go. Uh, you know, they wanted the momentum back. OG, they don't want to lose the pistols, I think. Just, you know, again. In terms of just saving the morale for the team, don't let this one go. Good timing. Uh, I mean, a bit random for Isa, but found it against Stanislaw anyway. So now it's Tarek. 30 seconds in a one versus two. And he maybe could get Isa. He's sneaking around. Isa would have known that Tarek got the kill down by Ivy. He gets the headshot as well. Gets put down to seven health. And Valda does have a Molotov. This is... Ooh. Wait, that's a smart play. Whoa. All right, he cannot stop. He has to go. Yep. But this is perfect. Valda's on the opposite side of the map. Yeah, and again, if he'd gone straight for the plant, he couldn't have come off it, and Valda could have thrown that Molotov to pretty much end things. So, yeah, this is intriguing. Now he's up on the high ground. He's played it right. He has. Still, that Molotov could ruin everything, though. If, if Valda guesses the correct uh, approach, which he won't. Oh, Anders, this could be heartbreaking. Eco, round of Eco, and Valda's going to have to check the high ground. He... This is so tough now for Velda. He's, he, the odds are just shifting Tarek's way. The yep. longer this goes, Tarek goes for the peak, and he will get picked. Oh. Velda. It was so close, wasn't it? Mountu to kick things off with the first kill. Gets traded by Breezy. Asa and Velda have to come up with the goods, and Asa once again finding the headshot. Breezy will be there to trade, and Ethan takes down Velda. This is breaking EG's way now. NBK could be here to deny it, though. And sure enough, he, he's going to catch one. Gets the second. NBK with the clutch. <laughs> uh, but you got to draw a line somewhere, I guess. Only good for that one week. NBK is going to be in for a bit of a tight uh, time here. Whoa. Nicely done. Point blank. Finds one. Gets a second. A third. Looking for it. And he gets the fourth as well. French CS. This leaves it all on Cirque. Last man alive. And it's not looking good. Could have maybe had his not done yet. They still have Molotovs. If, if they get a chance to throw these Molotovs in, that one might actually do it. Breeze might be in a lot of trouble if it spreads, and it will. That's a kill into a 2 on 2 EG need this round. They want to get back into the money here. Stanislaw and Cirque, they've got a bit of a crossfire, but again, there are more grenades to break that up. There's one of them into the pit, forcing it out. Look at the communication here for OG. This is just so well played on the retake, and Stanislaw ready and waiting to take them down. The headshot will finish it. Yeah. I like the fact that they're holding on to the smokes. See if OG are going to respect the fact that a smoke goes down. So there's one of them, but they don't have to slow down. They could just come through. They're thinking about it now, but here's the problem. There are more smokes on the other side. So if they continue to wait, this could lose them the round. 35 seconds left, 35 seconds. And if a fresh smoke goes down to block them, this is going to get really interesting. You're right, Anders. Oh, taking him down for the smoke with a headshot from the scout. They're running back, but... I mean, this is a, might be a better choice, but it's not going to be an easy run at all. 20 seconds on the clock. Tarek waiting inside of the smoke. He throws a flashbang to try and buy more time. There's more flashes coming through. Close with the CC. He lines them up for a double kill. And 10 seconds. If they get any more kills, there's not going to be a bomb plant. NBK takes down one, and they rush down Breeze, and they'll get the bomb plant at the very least. Put down. Now it's on MBK. He's got the pistol clock turning around for it. And Stanislaw, no armor on that side. He's got the Mac 10 and he's got the headshot to follow. And EG will actually win the round. It cost them everything, but but they actually do make it out around the corner. And now Ethan, he's really far away. Stanislaw might have to take a lot of this fight on his own without him really even wanting to. And they're waiting for it. They've got the eye on it. There's the headshot to come through. Now Ethan in a one versus two, and he walks right into it. NBK will take him down. And it is map and series point for OG Esports. 
And BK's easy. already fallen to this pre last time he played in front of at least twice he ran into this, so you could also expect that maybe he's going to see that coming. There's the flash. Oh, and they go for it. Good return for Breeze, but they were well aware. They're just, they're just waiting. I mean, it's hard to check it right now, but the result is, again, they can't cheat any rotation. And that leaves two people in the bomb side. Very similar strat here from OGS into the last round where they did win it. Breeze and Cirque inside of the bomb side. Nobody in the pit, so those grenades don't really do much of anything. But can they hold on to it? Cirque goes down and Lexi with the opening. Mantu setting up that flashbang and that leaves it in a two on four. And I don't even know how you could possibly do anything about this. Valdez ready and waiting. He'll take down Ethan and stand in the middle. It was an upset last time and everyone was shocked, but here we go. OG absolutely living the dream and they will take him down for a second time. Oh, baby, they could just line up for this. So many players about to round this corner and Kenny's gonna just have to hit some heads. He's Hanks. For them, and it's just the first. He's able to fall back. He's got to put his we weapon back together, and he will. It's a good time flashbang, but he knows the magazine's low. Now he's got the knife out. Oh. It's a stab onto Issa. Oh, oh my and god. And the headshot onto Volda. Hunter's gonna help him out from pit, so Alexi B is all alone in a one versus five. Nobody gets out from porch. Nobody gets footing close to that site, and it all goes around Kenny S. Alexi, the one on three, you think he's got no chance. One player pack default, one in the pit. It's one of the most dangerous crossfires, even when you have five alive. Saw they struggled in that Ooh. situation. Headshot through the wall. Alexi's out of the round. What a round from Kenny S, though. He's going to be playing inside of the graveyard. As two CTs are still coming in off library side, we're going to get the first duel here. That Krieg's at bat. A warning shot through the pillar of the wall. And now down to the even 2v2. It's a trade back Hunter. No. Ooh, he's got them both. But the time. Yeah. He's going to sprint in for this. Gets wow. on top of it. It's going to come down to the wire, but he's... Whoa! <laughs> just barely. Then we flip the coin over. We've got the smoke, the Molotov, Amanek. He's going to chuck that out. That should push Issa into the open. He still does massive damage. Very much sets up Valda to line these pins up and knock them down. It's winnable. He's got a sick off angle. He gets the first one. Needs to readjust. Amanek has the favor. Amanek has the kill. Pushes back into the site. Goes on to the fuse. No, he does not have a kit and it looks like all of that economic damage that OG did over the course of the eight rounds at G2-1 has paid off. Oh, and I love that Jax is going to stick around on mid. Alexi caught off by this, giving over the info, but Jax knows he's going to get pinched. So Alexi bests him and Kenny S plants that bomb and then ejects onto the scaffolding. They may not know he's here, <gasps> but now he's spotted and so damn close. Whoa. But Mantu's going to pick it up. It's defense on the first clash, but let's see if they can get out mid. Again, smoke spam, great timing coming out of the CTs. OG throwing Alexi B forward, only able to grab another kill, but he's done such a great job. Oh, what? Nexa robs it back, three kills, but here comes Volta on the flank, hot on the heels of the mid play. 2v2, and he dodges the op. Kenny sprints into the B site. He Four, will three. Yeah, find I the plants. Got it, yeah. The clock's going to be a bit different. Ooh. Bob goes down. Doesn't want to risk another death. Yeah? Yeah, wants Ru to get some exits here. Ruin the ratio. Oh, my God. He's going to get them both. Oh, Kenny's going to die to the bomb. So he's got to come out with a wicked Kenny peek, and it's just going to feed Valda a little bit more. Left open. Oh, Ooh. wow. Mantu. Coming in clutch when they need it the most from a 3v3 now to the 3v1. Amanek dropping down like Spider-Man into the vent, looking for a flank kill here. And I don't know how, but he did not spot his first target. Amantu doesn't get all three. I mean, no, it's Amanek. He has to work hard, but he ends up but getting it. That's the big one. I mean, we say Mantu shouldn't get all three, but Mantu also had 100 HP. And the door's open. Whoa. Amanek's going to rush it. Whoa, his teammate it's not there. planted oh, in three seconds. Oh, cover that. There's no way. Amanek robs the round. Close the door. 
has to form a miracle to be able to win that. Oh, Once but again, again, running into the blender yep. versus Fur Hunter, top of the hut. Finally. Oh, good trade comes out. But Nexa looks to pick up the pieces. Two up versus one. Alexi, only Mac 10 in hand. Better guns all over the place if he can find them. Don't know how yeah. close, though. It's not and quite... Kenny is now moving in Ooh, wait, for the wait, kill. Wait, Interesting, though, to on. make it a 1v1. He drops <gasps> off. Predicts and it? Alexi, he loves to take this fight. We saw how patient he was in this moment. Jax pops up behind him, pops his hat right off. Wild. Counter terrorists already down to just a single flashback. Oh, ramp. Ramp. Ramp could be hit. Valda's gonna look to lock it down. Alexi, he's caught close door, and Valda gets nothing. He's just gonna try to eject down to the B site as fast as oh, he can. Ooh. That's a crucial kill from Mantu. Now, Alexa's gonna lurk just outside of the squeaky door. It's a quick headshot could be what's needed here at B. Maybe they play the retake. This is insane from Nexa. He has control of this vent drop. They have to find new ways in. MBK goes down. That's over towards ramp. <gasps> Valda, he's gotten himself another, but he doesn't extend out. He has one HP. Mantu, 100 health. He sees those double doors swing. They're not in the best spots. They don't have control room. They try to slink one back behind Dark. Amanek has a difficult position for the CTs to dig him out from, not to mention a little bit of helping hands from Ramp. Spam coming through the floorboards. Frags oh. being added, and G2, one frag away, one HP away from shutting down the dreams of OG.